Hello there, I'm Night Miser at Thaska Channel. Actually, I just want to tell you this, this is my first video log that I'm going to publish on YouTube. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Thaska Channel. Thaska! An enjoyable channel for everyday people. Well, thank you for watching Thaska Channel then. So I have a MacBook Pro from 2009. I have a bunch of cameras, microphones, and everything else. You know, little things like anybody else has. It's very simple things. However, uh, the first thing you need to do is to have a good computer. And my back MacBook is pretty good. It's pretty fast. It was. But it got slow with the new uh, system, with the new OSS uh, system. So and with all the applications that I have, it got kind of old and slow. So to make it faster, to make it available and awesome for video log, what I have to do is two things, two things. One is upgrade the memory as much as you can, I recommend it. And the second is to change your hard drive from the normal hard drive to an SSD hard drive. So the first thing that I do is change my RAM from 4 gig to 8 gig. That's the maximum the MacBook Pro 2009, 2010, 2011 can take. So what I did was change this. This is the, uh, the memory. I changed my SIMs from 2 gig banks. I have 2 gig banks, 2 gig, 2 gig, woohoo, 2 gig banks from 4 gig then total to 8 gig. All right, so Hopefully you enjoy the video. It's very simple. It's very simple to do. And if I can do it, anybody else can do it. Enjoy it. If you, if you like it, press like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, well, you know, just uh, do it for fun right now. So, as you can see, this is the memory packs. Uh, 4 gig and 4 gig. And these are the tools I'm going to use. It came out with the pack because I also bought the hard drive, the SSD hard drive, so everything came in a pack. And then the, the screws, the screwdrivers came with it. As I said before, the hard drive I will change later. Huh? So this is just a memory change. So it's pretty, I look in the, into different videos and it looks pretty easy. So hopefully uh, it'll be easy enough. So this is the packs, just gonna put them aside for, for the meantime. Just gonna turn the computer around, right? Take the Phillips screwdriver. Okay, where is this, this one? And just uh, as you can see, the the PC or well, the, the Mac is pretty old, so I'm missing some screws. I'm missing. I will change. Take these screws first over here because they say in different videos they are longer than the others so I'm just gonna yeah it seems like they're pretty long so I'm just gonna put them aside all right this one as well okay and then I'm just gonna take the rest hopefully I will not have any issues but you never know with technology so I'm just gonna put them to the left side here As I said before, I just I like to test everything and do it myself. I just want to bring something different to the videos. This is my first time I do it, so I just want to make sure you guys that I do not cut anything. So you know more or less what it will take a rookie, a beginner, or somebody that does doesn't work on this thing, how long it will take it. So. Normally I don't do this by because I don't work on, on PCs, I don't work in Macs, with Macs, so whatever it takes me probably will take a normal person to do it, right? <laughs> so that's my point of view, just from the user's perspective. So I don't have any more screws, hopefully this will come up properly. I have another tool here, which is just uh, like a leverage, so hopefully, let me see if I can actually... There you go, pull it out, 
All right, seems like. All right, this is a little dirty. Jesus, I will have to clean this up. Probably I will stop the video before I put everything together and clean this up because this is dirty. <laughs> this is pretty dirty, look at that. So anyway, let's put this aside. Wow, look at that. Make sure always that you are uh, maybe a, a ground wristband. I don't have one, so make sure your you know, charge is touch in the metals and get discharge. Okay, look, this is, uh, so what are the, bad? oh, this is the memory banks here. Look at that. This is the battery. So I'm just correcting this up a little bit. Blow up. Who is the bald guy? He has a shiny head. <laughs> so this is the inside of a Mac. Great. Look at all that dust. Again, the bald guy. All right. So it seems like this is the battery connector here. I don't know. I've seen in some other videos that people take it out first before they do anything. But here is the connectors here. There you go, it pops one up. Yeah. There you go, put, put it aside here so you can see it. And this is the other one as well. So he's gonna pull these two leverages here again, see? And then supposed to come out. There you go. All right, so I have no memory now. <laughs> All right, um, I just want to make sure it's clean. Uh, later on, I will change this hard drive. I will have to study other videos how to do it, so I can show you from the beginner's perspective, right? If I can do it, anybody can. I can tell you that. <laughs> I love computers. I'm a uh, electrical engineer, but you know, it's not something I work on very very often in computers. So, if I can do it, anybody can. It's just a little. You have to be patient, and that's it. With the Scorpion Blue, this is the hard drive. Probably I'll have to change this. Is the uh, CD player that I will remove and place this one into here. All right, so. Further ado, let's change it. Let's open up the connector by the memory. And there you go. It's a crucial. No, it's pretty good. And I heard that this, this brand is pretty good. Everything came out when I bought the pack. Uh, the hard drive is also from Crucial, so hopefully it will work. So this thing, you have to come out this way. So, all right. Okay, oh no, it goes this way. All right, comes this way up down. Okay, there's only one way you can go. So let's press it. There you go. There you go. Let's get this thing out of the way. We don't want any dirty things inside. Let's open the second pack. All right, the second pack here. All right. Another, I don't know if you can see it. All right, here, I don't have to watch like here. It says four gig DD3 10 1066 uh, megahertz. So that's the maximum it can take. This uh, MacBook Pro 17 inch 2010, I believe, then 2011. I wish I could actually update it or upgrade this to 16 gig. But it doesn't allow me. Uh, I check, I check with Mac, with Apple, and that's the maximum it can go in this type of uh, this type of Mac. So it's a shame. But anyway, just want to install this in here like that. Okay. I think let's try with the leverage just to make sure is inside well what we can do is remove them again see if okay comes out let's, let's make sure 
is inside. Well, we push it nicely. Okay, let's take this off and just make sure this one is inside. You have to make sure it's placed in there tight. And then push it, just double check. Always double check things, okay? And then just press it downwards so it stacks in there. Now this one again, so make sure it's that there you go now it's better i didn't do it uh, properly the first time see always double check that's what we learn yeah, with uh, electronics and with things that we do with anything in life check twice yeah, double check like what's up you have the double check and when it's blue you know the other guy just read it so you double check so you press it downwards so these two leverages hold the memory back in there so i believe this is done so what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is place the memory banks in here. Oh, he has a funny voice, the guy, huh? Funny, funny. <laughs> All right. Now, let me walk away from the video. All right. And clean this up a little bit. So how can I do this? Huh? Just, uh, I guess, take a cloth or something like that. I don't know if I have a, okay, a nice cloth or just use an old t-shirt or something like that. Here. It's a, it's a cloth, clean one. Just make sure everything is clean, right? So if you do this, you will see a lot of dust in your computer. Because I'm gonna turn this way, so I'm just gonna throw the dust in the floor and then wipe it, wipe it later. All right. I don't want the dust to get in in the computer, so. Okay, so it looks much cleaner. Okay, so it's ready to go inside again. Okay, see how this was in there. Okay, I think this goes. To, okay, I go this way. You see. All right, let's press it. Make sure it's clicked. Okay, all right, hopefully it will work. Now, the long screws, this is the long screws here. They're supposed to have three, this one's one, two, and three. I have only two, as I said before, because it seems like I lost another one. I lost one of them a long time ago. I don't know where it went. Well, this is the moment of truth, guys. Just as you just seen, I, change, I have changed the memory banks. And it's time to power on. Let's power it up. Do not wait anymore. Let's power this up, see if it recognizes the memory. There you go. You can hear the noise. Wing. The pecul peculiar noise of the Mac. Powering up. So there you go, that's the apple. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it seems like something is working. Help Capitan the Captain. Okay, informe, let's see. Uh, memoria, memory. Hey. There you go. It recognizes the four, the two banks, the four gig and the four gig. So I'm pretty happy because I did it properly. I say it's a complete success. Yeah, I'm proud of it. This is the first time I'm doing a Mac. So okay, uh, the next one. Let's see the storage as before. I have only 100 gig uh, free. Okay, guys, so this is it. 
I'm pretty happy. I just leave it leave it uh, with uh, memory banks. A gigs installed four and four. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, just click like. If you don't, well, you don't you don't have to. So Thaska, there you have it. I just upgraded my computer to eight gig. So simple, so easy for a guy like me. If I can do it, you can do it. So that's what Thaska channel is all about. Do things, complicated things, by normal guys like you and I, and tell you and see and show you how long it takes, and then show you that if a person like me can do it, anybody can. You just need research and it needs patience and it needs dedication. That's all. So thank you again for watching the Thaska channel and thank you for watching this video.